Hi guys! Hi guys! So today we're going to introduce to you just a little bit about yoga. So we're going to be doing some beginner yoga exercises and yoga inspired stretches to help us feel stretched, feel strong, and feel great. So these stretches are going to be really good for you and they're going to feel super great. So we actually recommend that you guys can continue doing them. Do them as frequently as you can because they will really benefit you in the long run. If you aren't able to do a pose because of pain, lightness, or dizziness, you can stop and go into the child's pose. You should get on your hands and knees, then sit on top of the heels of your feet, keeping your hands stretched in front of you. The chest should be relaxed and rest on top of the thighs. You can tuck your head in to feel the stretch at the back of the neck and through the whole spine. Hold this position and take deep breaths to stretch as well as relax the whole torso. An alternative to this if you just want to relax your muscles is the corpse pose. This is simply lying on the back and letting go of any tension causing tightness or tiredness. You can turn your head to the side and stretch your arms or legs as you lie down. You can also stretch the back by lifting the lower back slightly and letting go and sinking to the floor until you feel ready to continue. So don't forget if you feel again any dizziness or pain, go into the child's pose or the um, corpse pose. But also try to remember that like any physical activity, these stretches and exercises, they may feel uncomfortable and painful at first. But if you just try to take it slowly, calmly, try to love that good stretch and a little bit of pain and you will become even stronger and you will feel even better after. So yay! Let's do this! We hope you feel great and you'll learn a little something after this introduction to yoga. So just follow along with us and let's get started. Okay, great. Let's start. Sitting down on the floor, legs crossed, we'll be doing some breathing exercises. Now we breathe in and out through the nose only. Feel tall, pull up your back, and in. Two, three, four, breathe out. Six, seven, eight, and in. Two, three, four, and out. Six, seven, eight, and in. Two, three, four, out. Six, seven, eight, and last. Two, three, four, out. Six, seven, eight. Now we're going to continue on to the next stretch with the legs in front of us and the back still straight and strong. Take the left leg and cross it over the right leg at the knee. And take the right arm and cross it over the knee as well. The body facing to the left and head turned. Feel the stretch in your back continue through your spine as you twist. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna stretch out our legs again and continue to the other side. With the right leg over the left and the left arm crossing over, we're gonna twist our body to the right side. Again, try to keep the stretch flowing through your body instead of keeping a stagnant pose. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, six, seven, eight. Legs back in butterfly and heels together. Now we're just gonna stretch and loosen the muscles in the neck. So with heels together and our back straight and pulled up. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, six, seven, eight. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna keep the heels together and stretch the side. Take the left arm. Bring it all the way to the end of the room, stretching so much and making sure to stretch the sides as well. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, six, seven, eight. To the other side, bring the right arm all the way to the end of the room, stretching both sides, making sure not to curl in. You can use an arm to support you and stretch all the way. 
inhale two three four exhale six seven now with the heels together keep the back as straight as you can and your knees as low as you can now lean forward aiming to keep the chest low instead of curling inward and making the head the lowest point your arms support you either in front or on your knees and while making sure not to curl inward you can drop your head to feel your whole spine as well as the back of your knees and the thighs stretching inhale two three four exhale six seven eight inhale two three four exhale six seven eight now getting up again, and take your left leg with your knee in a 90 degree position and then take your right heel and place the right heel on top of the left knee trying to make the calves parallel to each other. It's okay if they don't line up completely flat as long as you keep the position with your back straight and pulled up. Now put your hands on your right leg and inhale, two, three, four, exhale, six, seven, eight, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, six, seven, eight. Now you know, place your arms in front of you, if you can't reach that, you can put them on the side. And lean forward again, aiming the chest to the ground rather than the head. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna do it the other side. This time we're gonna put the left heel on top of the right knee. And inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, six, seven, eight. Now, arms in the front or on the side if you're not able to reach it. But now we're gonna lean forward again with the chest to the ground, the lowest point. Inhale, two, three, Four, exhale, six, seven, eight, and up again. Heels together, knees down, and back straight. Okay, so let's now do some stretches for our hamstrings and for our back. Stretch out your right leg in front of you. And take a breath and reach forward. Try to put your head as close to your knee as possible without tensing up your torso or curling your spine. Lengthen the back and remember to keep breathing in and out through the nose. Now let's go up and let's open that right leg out to the side, does not have to be so wide. We'll do a half straddle stretch. Reach forward once more and keep breathing. Try to reach as forward and as far as you can. Remember to keep long and stretched. Keep breathing in and out and come up and let's stretch over to the right leg try to bring your forehead to your knees without bending your knees without lifting your bent leg and again without tensing up just remember you don't have to go so low and up let's go over to the other side towards the bent leg, keep breathing, and out. Okay. 
and in and out. Okay, great. Now let's do this, the same thing on the other side. Now stretch out your left leg, keep the knee straight and bend forward, stretch forward, lengthening your spine, stretching your hamstrings, the back of the legs. Keep breathing in and out and in and out and in and out come up to the half straddle stretch open your leg to the side does not have to be so wide and stretch forward remember to keep lengthening all the parts of your body Keep breathing. Feel the stretch in your back. Do not tense up your legs or your torso. Keep breathing in and out. Okay, come up and let's stretch over to the outstretched leg, the left leg. Breathing in and out. Bring your forehead as close to your leg without tensing up. Keep long and stretched. And come up and to the other side towards the bent leg. Stretch forward and out, lengthening your back. Now curling your spine, keep breathing in and out. And great job. Now come up and we are going to go on to the next stretch, the cat and cow poses or curling and stretching the back. Come on to all fours, your knees directly under your hips and your hands directly under your shoulders. Tuck your toes underneath your feet and place your weight evenly among your hands and knees. Now we're going to inhale and curl the back into the cat and exhale into the cow, rounding your back and inhale, curl and exhale round the back stretch it out and inhale curl and exhale stretch inhale to the cat pose and exhale round the back and tuck your head and let's go to the child's pose to stretch out the back Good job. Keep breathing in and out in this position. Next, we're going to do the one-legged cat stretch. So come onto all fours again. Head just looking straight. And you're going to lift your left leg and lift your right arm. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale and exhale and down I'm going to do the same on the other side bring the right leg up and the left arm up keeping long and stretched keep breathing in and out breathe in and out and lower and let's stretch the back in the child's pose stretch out your back 
Relax the chest over your thighs. Keep breathing in and out. Okay, great. Now let's stand up. We're going to be doing the next exercise. Now we're going to be doing sun salutations. Legs together and arms up, touching in the air, inhale and bring your whole body down, exhale. Try to touch the ground, but you can also keep your hands on your shins. From there, we're going to lift up the torso to a flat back position, take a breath and drop down again. Now you can bend your knees to touch the ground and step back into a plank position. Keep the core strong and maintain a straight body. Then we're going to put our knees down, arch our back, chest on the floor, and stretch out. Cobra position, push up and use your feet and arms to bring the body off the floor. To a downward dog position, press back with the heels with the arms outstretched and hips high. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna walk towards the hands, knees bent, and straighten. Hands on the shin again, breathe up, drop down. Stretching up into a standing position, inhale, bring up the hands to meet, and exhale, hands to your side. So let's do that one more time. Inhale, bring your arms up, Exhale, go all the way down, trying to touch the ground with your hands. But you may also touch or hold on to your shins. Now inhale and bring your torso up to flat back position. And exhale, go back down. Now let's stretch out our legs on, out to the plank position, keeping the core strong and body straight. Now let's bend our knees, lower our chest. Straighten our legs and let's go lift up our body to the upward dog position. Now let's go to the downward dog. Remember to keep breathing in and out. And in and out. Now walk forward, putting your feet together. Stretch your knees. Come up to flat back position once again and drop down and roll up, bringing your hands above your head and down. Now we're going to be doing the triangle pose. Make the legs spread out with the feet facing front and bring the stretch from the feet all the way up to the waist. Turn the left foot out so it's facing the side and the right one at a 45 degree angle facing the left. Keeping the core strong, extend the arms to the side. As you start leaning to the left, breathe and let the hips be pushed right with the body. The hands should now be facing front. Keep the sides strong and don't let them curl in. Again, we're going to be reaching all the way with our arms as far as we can. Place the left hand on the left shin, relaxed, not leaning on it. Keep stretching as far as you comfortably can, remembering to breathe in and out. Use your hand to guide a stretch all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, six, seven, eight. Now we slowly move back upright again, bringing with us the hips, and we're now in the standing position. Turn in the left foot, and the right one will now face right, keeping the legs strong and stretched up. You can adjust your feet if your stance is too narrow. Start leaning to the right with the hands facing front, all the way as far as you can, and place the right hand on the right shin. Breathing in and exhaling out. Now you can guide your head up, feeling the stretch flow through your body. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, six, seven, and eight. 
and now we're going up again in the standing position and putting our feet together okay great let's do one last exercise standing up feet apart wider than the hips we're going to do just a forward roll rolling down through your spine starting with your head go as low as you can trying not to bend your knees but if you have to just a bit that's fine try to go as low as possible try to touch the floor with your hands but you can also support by holding on to your shins keep breathing in and out Now, let's lift up slowly to a flat back position. You can support by holding onto your shins and go back down. Keep breathing and we will roll back up, leaving the head for last. Great job! Now let's go into one of our last exercises. We're going to lie down on our backs. We're going to do the bridge pose. So lie down flat on your back and place your feet about your arm's length. So your fingertips should just be touching your heels. Keep the knees aligned with your hips all throughout the exercise. Put your arms just relaxed, either palms up or palms down to your side. And make sure that your feet are flat on the ground. Now we will inhale, two, three, four, and exhale. Now as we exhale, starting with the tailbone, we lift slowly our hips and our torso, very slowly, continuing with your breathing. Lift as high as you can without tensing up and feel as though there's a stretch coming from your tailbone going towards the back of your knees. So continue to feel stretched, long, and strong. Remember, keep breathing in and out. And we're going to exhale now, slowly lowering. Keep it nice and slow. Try not to move your knees, don't tense up your upper body, and lower completely. Good. Now we're going to do that one more time. Inhale, and exhale, lift, starting with your tailbone. Scooping up the tailbone, up towards the sky, keeping long and stretched and strong. Don't tense up your neck or your shoulders or your arms. Keep breathing. Don't swing about your knees. Keep it aligned with your hips. Try to keep your feet flat on the floor. And breathe in and out. Keep breathing. And as you exhale now, Let's lower down, slowly, slowly lowering down, keeping up with your breathing. Okay, nice one guys. So now we're just going to go into the corpse pose. Let's just relax and keep breathing in this position. We did a great job. You guys did a great job in this yoga stretches. We hope you feel good. Right now, let's just relax and breathe and enjoy the stretch okay so we are not the end of our introduction to yoga we hope that you guys learned a lot and feel good and stretch now. Let's come up and let's finish. Thanks guys!